ePortfolios sort of have improved my practice because um, it's made me realise that students can take a lot more ownership of their learning and the way that they're progressing and how they're developing their resources and what they're creating. So in, in an effect, once you've given them the underpinning knowledge, you then become the facilitator and the guide rather than telling them how to do something. And um, they've, they've built some fantastic work, you know, and have given really good reflection on each other's documents that they've created. Um, with regards to developing it further, how I would change it, um, I would actually use a lot more of it for um, developing my resources and look at taking it maybe into sort of other units as well. Um, I know my students are going to use it now for their career development. They're going to upload their CVs and create a personal portfolio of who they are and show employers as well. So it's something that we could sort of introduce into sort of a tutorial system, a new way of the students sort of promoting themselves as well. So yeah, I think it's going to change the way tutors deliver.